Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to high on food today we are diving into the world of incredible flavors with a recipe that's the fusion of two classics tikka and biryani if you are ready to elevate your biryani game you're in for a treat so let's get started now in a large bowl add around 1 kg of chicken and make sure to apply deep cuts along with 3 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste 3 tablespoon of yogurt 3 tablespoon of tikka masala and again 2 tablespoon of yogurt then again 3 tablespoon of tikka masala mix it properly so the all the flavors can get inside the cuts you've made and marinate it for around at least 3 to 4 hours the pot add around 3 tablespoon of oil a 4 big size sliced onion fry until translucent or golden brown Then add 5 sliced tomatoes, mix it up. Add around 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoons of lemon juice. Cover the lid and let it cook for around 15 minutes. Then add around 3 tablespoons of flavorful biryani masala along with 1 cup of yogurt and mix it all again. Now take out your marinated chicken and pork it evenly using your fork like this. By doing this all the flavors of the biryani masala gravy will get inside this chicken tikka. Now add your marinated chicken and the remainings of masala. We won't waste anything and combine them all together. Now mix, mix and mix. Now we'll add some green chilies, whole gram masala, chopped mint and coriander. Now cover the lid and let it cook for around 20-25 minutes until the oil separate. As you can see, oil is completely separated and our biryani gravy is totally done, it's ready. Now it's time to go for the rice. Now in a separate pot, pour around 200 ml of water, add around 3 tablespoons of salt or as required. But a pro tip for you guys that if you are making with sila rice, you have to add more salt than the basmati rice. Now add around 2 tablespoons of lemon juice, some whole gram masala, the traditional ones, and 1 kg soaked sila rice. Add around 1 tablespoon of oil, close the lid and cook on a medium flame for 20 minutes till the rice is done. It's time to build up the base of tikka biryani. Spread a layer of rice at the bottom of the pot. Fill it with rice. Now add the gravy with some chicken. Sprinkle some chopped coriander and mint. Add around 2 tablespoons of lemon juice with 2 teaspoons of food coloring. Now repeat the process. Now we'll add another layer of rice, another layer of gravy, another layer of chicken, just like this. Now repeat the process and while also adding the chicken, cover the top with the chicken tikka gravy. On the top, I have placed all the chicken tikka pieces. Now I'm adding fresh coriander, some mint, two tablespoon of kevra water. It will give very good flavor. And 100 ml of water as we will cook it on a dumb method. So I'm also adding water and around two tablespoon of oil on the sides. Now some food coloring handful of fresh coriander and mint cover the top of the pot with a damp cloth and let it cook till steam is formed properly the aroma in my kitchen right now is incredible i cannot wait for you to try this at home
And there you have it, our mouth-watering tikka biryani is ready. Just look at those layers of flavor. Combination of the tender chicken tikka and the aromatic rice is a match made food in heaven. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you. Thanks for joining me today on this tikka biryani adventure. If you enjoyed this recipe, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more deliciousness and hit that notification bell. Until next time, happy cooking, stay on high on food.